The European Union is against the death penalty and reiterates its strong opposition to capital punishment in all circumstances and for all cases. In Trinidad and Tobago, some such as the Dean of Law, Rosemary Bell Antoine, believe that this law is immoral and does not work to combat crime. At a conference to move the country closer to the abolition of the death penalty, the history of the law and its contents were examined. Mary Therese Bernard has more. On Tuesday, Dean of Law of the UE, Professor Rosemary Bell Antoine, noted the death penalty law exists on the law books here due to the saving law clause which keeps many colonial laws in place. So the existence of a death penalty in our books is not because of some well thought out legal perspective in relation to crime, but as I said, a historical accident that our former colonizers long, uh, had long understood is not only unhelpful, but a violation of fundamental rights of dignity. The professor says there is research and proof to show that the death penalty is not a deterrent to crime. She says if we are to progress like England and the EU, we have to turn to our lawmakers and ask for change. So really the, cha the task rests with Parliament. It's the Parliament and the policy makers that we have to persuade, not the courts. The courts can do very little in this regard. She goes further to say that crime today is but an indication that we have not found the source of what makes people do wrong. I believe that we are only looking at the symptoms of crime and not the root causes of crime. Uh, cliched but true and often forgotten for our citizen security problem. We need to have a preventative approach. We need to have broad social issues, particularly of inequality in the society addressed. It's not going to be solved by excessively harsh, draconian, punitive measures. We the professor notes that calling the battle against crime a war only gives a false sense of security. She says a different approach is needed, one which holds high human rights and is determined to tackle crime at its heart. Mary Therese Bernard, News Now.